Hey everybody and welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe right now because this channel is all about hair loss, fighting your hair loss naturally and having a look on what's out there on the market, such as Replicel, which is the topic of today's video. By the way, believe it or not, but this guy was me a few years ago. I was having hair loss, I was in my mid-twenties and I was really depressed because hair loss almost destroyed my life. Share my story, subscribe to this channel, learn all about hair loss, especially fighting your hair loss naturally, which is the best alternative and get the same results that I have. I'm fighting my hair loss naturally, I'm not losing any hair for about five years and I'm not taking any drugs or something else. I'm just using my own hair loss strategy and believe me, it works and you can also learn how to fight your hair loss naturally. Replicel is a regenerative medicine company based in Vancouver, Canada. They are not only researching in hair loss products, but they are also researching in skin products and everything that has to do with damaged cells that need to be re-stimulated, for example. And how does Replicel work? Have a look at this picture. First, of course, you are diagnosed if you're really having hair loss, for example, in that case. Next, they isolate healthy hair follicles from the back of your scalp. I mean, everybody knows that hair follicles in the back of your scalp are not regular, uh, normally not affected by DHD. Let's say it like that. The next thing is that the cells are multiplied. So they get millions of new cells out of these follicles. And finally, the cells are injected back below the skin's epidermal layer. Okay, so far so good. Let's have a look at what should happen next. First, the primary goal is that the injected cells migrate to damaged and dormant hair follicles to rejuvenate and stimulate these follicles. What does this mean? So the primary goal is if you compare it to a hair transplant, for example, if you are going to have a hair transplant, they take hair from the back and put it in the front or on the top of your head. So they just replace your hair. Here, it's not a hair transplant, so they do not replace hair cells or they do not replace hair follicles. They just inject healthy health into your, into your skin. So they just want that these cells that, that, that are injected into your head re-stimulate damaged hair follicles. So they just want to give some fuel or extra power to damaged hair follicles and tell them, come on, restart to grow some healthy hair, like that. That's the primary goal. And if we have a look at the results of a, of a face of a, of a study back in 2012, I can already tell you that this is also the primary thing that happened. And part two, what they also want is that completely new hair follicles and hair grow. But I can also tell you right now that this has not been the case actually. So the main thing that Replicel wants to do is, the main goal is that they inject healthy cells, millions of cells that migrate to damaged hair follicles and re-stimulate these hair follicles. So let's think one step further. If you are already completely bald, for example, in the front or in the top of your head and they inject all these cells, I mean, there is nothing that can be stimulated because there are no hair follicles anymore. So this, if, if I just look at this things that should happen, 
this would be a good treatment for diffuse, diffuse thinners, for example. People who are still having some head on their some hair on their head that needs to be re-stimulated. But it's not you cannot you can't compare it to a hair transplant, for example. And back in 2012, there has already been a phase one trial with RCH1. And if we have a look at the results, of course, there has been there have been some good results. But I can already tell you after I've done a lot of research that the figures on the right are from the top responders of this study. So there have also been lots of people who did not have 25% increase in Velos hair, for example. So can we finally expect a Hellos cure from Repli cell in 2019? I guess not, if I'm honest. I can tell you that Back in 2013, a Japanese company called Shishaido, if I, if I pronounced it right, bought the exclusive rights to license RCH1. Past years, they did a phase two trial, so a new study after 2012. And in the end of 2018, they told us that we can expect the results of this study. So I'm really looking forward to see some results. And I mean, I don't think that the product will be on the market in 2019. So this is way too early, but I still hope that we can expect some good results out of this second study. The second study, the people, had to, the people who were part of this study had to come back again and again, and they got injected the cells a few times, not only once. That's the biggest difference if we compare study two against study one. And I really hope that this will make a big difference and give the cells a really good stimulation, maybe also some regrow of new hair follicles. And I'm really looking forward to see some results of study two and hopefully get some news if this will be a product that will be out there on the market maybe in 2020 or somewhere in the near future. But I don't believe that this product will be on the market in 2019. So if you like this video if you and want to see similar videos with products that maybe will cure our hair loss in the near future, subscribe to this channel. Also, if you're interested in natural hair loss fighting, have a look at the description below get my ebook and learn everything about fighting your hair loss naturally. See you soon. Bye, your Mike.